And despite the heat, hundreds of people walked across Milwaukee in protest of George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. That demonstration is still going on right now. Our Mary Jo Ola is live, and demonstrators are hoping to show a peaceful and united voice. Correct, Mary Jo? That's right, Carol. That protest uh, seemingly might still actually be going on here. Take a look. This is uh, the crowd. They Their last stop was supposed to be Milwaukee Police District 1. As you can see, it is just, there's countless people out here still marching in the heat. In addition to the people marching, you've got so many cars following close behind as part of this demonstration. Now, this is the fifth day in a row of protests in Milwaukee, and demonstrators pushed through this 90-degree heat to get their message out. Peaceful protesters chanted, What's his name? George Floyd! And car horns rang out <laughs> Tuesday afternoon in Milwaukee. It's the latest demonstration sparked by the killing of George Floyd. Teenagers at the protest say black Americans shouldn't have to fear the police. You shouldn't feel scared around them. That you, they, you should feel protected if you're around them. This is 18-year-old Peyton Smith's first protest. He hopes the march will leave an impact on those looking on. I want them to feel compassion for America. I want them to feel that America needs to make a change. And even if they are uh, not a minority, they still feel that. Businesses and neighbors from Bayview to downtown handed out water bottles. Some local restaurants closed for the day to support the cause. Police blocked off traffic. We ran into Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett near the walk. And I share the anger of the people who are here as to what has happened in Minneapolis and around this nation. And so this is the way you achieve, I think, attention to this issue. Even though they didn't take part, people watching the march say it left an impact on them. I think it's empowering and encouraging that the future isn't so bleak as we all thought it might be. I'm loving it. I'm really, and as an African-American male, it's, it really touches uh, to the core. It really does because we can't do it by ourselves. We just can't. It's, it's impossible. All right, back out here live, the protesters who are standing uh, in front of Milwaukee Police District 1 are starting to filter out Milwaukee police behind me all around the building, uh, standing by as well. Uh, something you didn't see in that package that you just watched uh, was that we heard cheers and people who had a better vantage point than I did said at one point some of the Milwaukee officers actually took a knee uh, with protesters. Again, this was supposed to be their last stop for the day, uh, but it seems like uh, the group is still walking uh, in this direction away from MPD. Uh, not clear where their next stop is, but we'll be keeping a close eye on them and what happens next. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.